Welcome to Times of Refreshing Podcast. This is Gil Howard Brown, and I'm so glad you could join us today. We trust that you will be greatly blessed and encouraged. Be thankful to God during good and difficult times. Being thankful for all that God has done in our lives is something that we should cultivate on a daily basis. Not only when life is great and the blessings are flowing, it's easy to focus on the things we need and want, but sometimes we, we forget all the wonderful things that God has already done for us. We are commanded in 1 Thessalonians 5 verse 18, In everything give thanks, for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus concerning you. That does not mean that we are, th- we are to thank him for the bad things, uh, you know, that are happening in our lives. But regardless of our condition, we are, thank- we are to be thankful. You know, we live in this imperfect world and things do go wrong. So there's not a person living that doesn't face uh, problems of some nature. But, you know, we can, we can focus on all the things that are happening, all the negative stuff, and just become more and more negative. But if we just learn to become thankful and we learn how to praise God and to worship Him and to thank Him for all His goodness, it, it changes our whole attitude and we become much more positive. And I, and I found that positive people, you know, even though they have problems, are, are really aren't overcome by them. And, uh, you know, God's, that's what, he, what He's wanting us to do, is to become overcomers over the problem. And so the Amplified Bible says it quite well. It says, no matter what the circumstances may be, be thankful and give thanks. So regardless, let's just give thanks. Be thankful even when things go wrong. It means we, we're to trust Him and not be swayed by life's trials. A thankful heart opens the door to the joy of the Lord, which in turn causes the peace of God to flow in us. And, and, and peace and joy are 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 a must in our life. I mean, if you don't have peace and you don't have joy, then this is, in quite frankly, going to be a miserable life. Because, trust me, you are going to face problems. And I would rather face problems and trials on this earth with the joy and the peace of God than without it. It is like being in the fiery furnace and not being singed. And, you know, we see that story in Daniel 3, verse 24 to 27. The truth is that Jesus is with us every single day and in every circumstance. It's, it's like being in the lion's den and not being afraid because he is with us. In, in Daniel 6.22, it says, My God has sent the angel and has shut the lion's mouth so that they will not hurt me because I was found innocent and blameless before him. So there's a little clue right there. I found innocent and blameless before him. When we have a right relationship with God and we, you know, we're in a loving relationship with the Lord and we're just thanking him and God sees our hearts and sees our heart and a thankful heart, and we, 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 we come before him as innocent and blameless. And God has angels that he can send to shut the lion's mouths. And so, or he has, you know, he has angels to minister in different ways. And I mean, he could, he, he'll send the protection that we need or the provision that we need when we need it so that we are not overcome. It's when looking at the, at the ocean, you know, you, you, <laughs> you see the tide in full one day and then the next day it's, it's uh, what we call a low tide. And in, you know, where I lived in South Africa, we grew up on the river bank, it was a tidal river. And the tide would come in and sort of lap at the, at the top of the wall of the front yard, or the backyard. And then when the tide went out, the normal tide, it would be, you know, some of the bank would be revealed and then you could walk on the bank and, and, and it was, uh, you know, you could stand on the bank and fish and so on and so forth. But then there were times when we would have what we called a neap tide. This was an extremely low tide. And... I mean, it, almost all the water would run out this basin and you could see it right down to the, almost down to the little uh, canal that ran in the middle of the thing, you know, that's cut out by the tidal waters and you would see all the mud and the weeds and everything and little fish would get stranded in little pools and so it was a lot of fun. And, uh, you know, but it looked pretty bleak and it looked pretty stark and it, it didn't look attractive. And then the tide would come in and the opposite of a deep tide was a spring tide. And when that came in, the entire riverbank would be covered from wall to wall, and you could just see this beautiful sheet of water. There was no wind blowing. It was just a beautiful mirror-like sheet of water, just a gorgeous sight. And I remember looking at that and, and even going in my little boat and enjoying that water. So 
But every now and again, we, we strike those moments in our life when it feels like it's low tide. Uh, but I want to tell you something, when the tide is out, <laughs> it's going to come back in. And so you may be going through a rough time right now, but I want to tell you that God's got a blessing that's coming your way and that it, it will be coming in soon. And we've got to just remain in that place of being thankful and worship Him and praise Him because you're tired when it comes in. I mean, you don't want to be devastated. You want to, you, when the blessing finally arrives, you don't want to be all burnt out and weak and weary and so depressed that you can't handle it. So let's put it to the test right now. Regardless of how you feel, just begin to thank Him over and over again until you feel that heavy burden lifting off of your shoulders right now. Just do it. Just go ahead and just begin to worship Him. And you can, if you're by yourself and you're driving, don't, put, don't lift your hands up, of course. But if you're by yourself in a room, just lift up your hands and just close your eyes. And just begin to thank Him. Say, Lord, I thank You for all the blessings that You give. And thank You for Your mercy. Thank You for Your goodness. Thank You for Your supernatural provision. Thank You for Your love, Your peace and Your joy that gives me a strength on the inside. And I thank You for right now that, Lord, You've taken care of my future. And, Lord, You've got good things lined up for me. And so I praise You right now in spite of where I'm at, Lord, in spite of the difficulty, in spite of the, in spite of the situation. But I praise You right now for everything that you have done and that you are going to do in Jesus' name. And I give you the thanks and the praise for it. And then if you are not a Christian and you've never ever committed your life to Christ, well, you can enjoy this as well because it's for everyone. All you have to do is ask the Lord to come on the inside of your heart and, and all you have to do is pray a simple prayer. Pray after me and say, Father, I come to you in the name of Jesus. I thank you, Lord, that as a sinner I can come to you and I can come boldly before you and ask you to to wash me in your precious blood that Jesus shed on the cross of Calvary for me and that you would remove my sins as far as the east is from the west to remember them no more. And I thank you right now as I receive you as my Lord and my Savior that, Lord, you receive me as your child and you fill me with your peace, your love and your joy. Lord, I know that I've, I've been running from you, but, Lord, I run to you right now. And I thank you that even though my life is there's turmoil in my life and there are problems, but, Lord, you are the great problem solver and I commit my life to you today. And I thank you, Lord, that you make a way for me where there is no way. And you put a river in my desert. In Jesus' name, and I give you the praise and the honor and the glory. Amen and amen. And I just I ask you, if you pray that prayer, just to come back off and listen to these podcasts. They will encourage you and strengthen you and give you the, the, the spiritual food that you need to make you a strong believer. And I just pray that everyone has been blessed mightily today. Remember, give thanks to the Lord regardless of what you're going through. Just keep on thanking Him and you're going to see the breakthrough coming to you in Jesus' name. God bless you all.